bug number two. Bug number two that we're going to spread today is a... Um, Cone nose cave? Yes. This is... It looks very much like a grasshopper, but you can tell by its face, where it has its its nose upturned right here and its eyes over here, that it, it's a, called the Cone nose cave did. So it's got the purples in the legs and the reds around its cheeks, so yeah, it's a Cone nose cave did. Um, and what order is this part of? Orthoptera. Orthoptera. It's really easy to remember the order for grasshoppers because it has hop in the name. Orthoptera. Got yeah, it. It's really easy to remember. Um, so these ones, um, grasshoppers and cadence and stuff like that are a lot more difficult to spread their wings because the cockroach, all you have to do is like pull it and it, you know, it comes out. But with these, you have to find the little seam on the inside and kind of, kind of work with it to get it to come out. Um, and then, you, you, most of the time I use my hands, but to actually get it, you have to take it and crack it. You probably didn't hear that, I could hear it, but you have to actually pull it out and you can hear it cracking. It goes like on a different way and it, it stops trying to pull back. So that'll make it easier for you. And then you want to do the exact same to the other side. Take it, just this wing part, hold them there right in the middle. Oh, I think I kind of heard the crack this yeah. time, yeah. Okay, so now it's it's nice. You can still have the internal wing parts, the wingy bits. Um, and then same with this one. Uh, I'll use a... Mm, let's use a big pin to put them up. He just died, so he's pretty droopy right now. So same thing. Uh, but for, for orthopterans, it's your choice. You can put them on one or the other side, or you can put it directly in the middle. Okay. It doesn't uh, necessarily... Matter. What is your Depend. general preference? I like to put it in the middle. I think it makes it look better. I think in the middle uh, too, I on, was going to say. On one side, it kind of looks lopsided and weird, so I like putting it right in the middle. So I'm just going to take him right here, as far back as I can. His, his uh, outer shell is very tough, so mm -hmm. we're going to need to... Um, and that made his wings go back. So you have a video of your head, but that's okay. Sorry. <laughs> when you're done, you can show us. Very nice. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so this is right in the middle there. Uh-huh. And then put them on the thing black again. Mm -hmm. And you can always take them, um, spread their wings and stuff, and then put them on the pinning block afterwards. Um, after they've dried out a little bit, because it'll push, you just have to do it very carefully. Because you're going to need to push it, and um, you could potentially damage stuff, but right now it'd be easier for them to be lower because it's easier to, to manipulate them so there's not, you know, pain in your way. Right. Um, so yeah, so what I usually like to do is I, I basically just shove these front four legs, just shove them down into this hole because they're, again, no one's going to be looking at them. Um, they're not, not worth your time to mess with right now, especially at this level. It's not like, you know, people aren't going to be looking at the underside of your bugs, so. That's with it. Take these guys out. Pull them out. Push him as far as you can into that little crack. That way he will be nice. He'll, you want to try to make it so that the wings are nice and flush with the uh, styrofoam. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't bend right here at the top. Okay. I'm going to take the wings. I'm very careful because these end bits do fall off very easily. Yeah, as we saw in the last video that I did with the roach. It's it's almost easier to grab a lot than a little. Try to grab more because um, it's it, it'd be harder to pull out. If you just try to grab like the very tip of it and try to pull it, you're more than likely going to pull that part off. And then... I'm sorry, yeah, I got a little wobbly it. with the camera there. But, uh, but see, as I'm showing you, they're, they're not easy to pull out. It's it takes more work with the grasshopper. Um, They're so like light and feathery. Yes, you have to be very, very careful with them. And then again, the pinning the wings is is your your preference. Um, you can pin them straight or more up, or you can do just one side or both sides. Or there's lots of different. Um, yeah, I've seen some of yours that you do just one. There are lots of different things you can do with okay. them. And again, it's the exact same process, except this time I'm probably going to use more pins because the wings are they're longer. Uh, so I would do two at the top, three at the bottom. One on each side of this stuff. 
and then just in every like you can see as you look at it there's like little kind of nooks and crannies in the bottom so you want to just put one one on each side and then one right in the middle and again not pinning through not pinning through the, the wing yeah. and you can pin through the wing but you just want to make sure that you are all very right so careful. we're gonna switch again and i'm gonna try the other side let me try And then afterwards, after you're done pinning the wings, you can pin the back legs. A lot of people like for them to look like they're jumping, uh, flying around, and all kinds of stuff. Um, so, you can pin those however you'd like. I wasn't afraid of the Katie did, like I was of the yeah. cockroach, so the pinning was Katie dids are beautiful, so you, you know. Much easier for me. Their wings are just really, really They're very pretty. beautiful, so... I have a new understanding of why Nick finds beauty in these creatures. Um, I still am not super fond of them when they're alive. Um, okay. So then to, to pin, so tell me how to pin. Like, so like if somebody was just following these steps. So, so you want to pick his leg um, up, yeah, right? So it all just depends on your personal so preference. So I would like mine to look like he's jumping. Mm -hmm. So you wanted to pick them up on top of the styrofoam? Oh, on top of the styrofoam. Uh, it just depends on what you your what tr kind of effect you're trying to get at. Okay. So it, when grasshoppers are flying, their legs are completely straight out behind them. Okay. But when they're jumping, they're at a at a huge curve. Um, so you said you wanted to look like jumping. So and you should probably it to be put it curvy like that. You can do it like that, and then you want to put. Um, I put a pin on the side. I, of it, I put lots and lots of pins. Um, my the highest number of pins I've used for one insect is somewhere around 34 or 35. I use lots and lots of pins. I like for it to look very nice, very professional. But yes, for the legs, you basically just want to put one pin on either side, uh, maybe one pin to keep it flat to the ground. Um, well, that's what I'm thinking. Like I need just something back here so that his legs not like sliding back. Yes, exactly. Um, so yeah, and then you just pin those, you put those, you pin them in whatever position you think looks the best, and then just leave them just like that. But yes, they slip a lot, they move. Um, so now I know why you use a million pins. But yes. I think like that he's fine. Yeah, a lot of times you can just put one or two pins and they look perfect. But uh, sometimes, you know, you need 20 or 30. So again, it's um, up here. And it's, you know, a little up. And then I want to kind of have it to, to be... You know, about the same height. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to. Sorry if I'm in front of the video here. Don't worry about it. So. Because things in, in nature are, you know, they're perfect without being perfect. So when a grasshopper jumps, it, its legs are the exact same height. It was how, how nature built them, how nature intended them to be. So. Okay. And he slipped. He did slip. Uh, turkey buzzer. But yeah, so usually the legs on grasshoppers are, are one of the hardest things to do. Um, you might have to add another pin or two onto him. <laughs> well, yeah. Any more tiny ones? I can use these things, right? That's fine, yeah, it doesn't matter. So Just make it easier. And then another thing to, um, to think about is that all uh, insects have claws on the bottom of their, their legs. Some form of claw. So if you can find that claw, and if it's big enough to, um, to you know, attach something to, then you can use that claw and the pin to just get it well, that's what I was trying very to easily. Like, oh, I was trying to kind of like put his leg up, because he's got the little glute groove, like you said. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to get his groove on the, the pin. But trying to get his groove on. Like that's better, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you've got... Grasshopper. I feel like this leg is gonna be a little bit Grasshopper with its legs pinned in the air real nice, so it's wings spread out. And so when you're doing this pinning, you can actually use any kind of like pins that you would get yeah, in Hobby Lobby or whatever. It's pins the BioQuip pins are really for the ones that you want right here in the to body. hold them into place, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, any, you know, pin, it doesn't matter with other kind of pins. It's just, you know, something to help it keep stable. Awesome. All right. Well, there you go.
Here's our tutorial.